Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Splash Cars. Splash Cars is developed by Paper Bunker and published by East Days of Soft. It comes out on March 9th of 2022. We don't currently have a price for it yet, but uh, it is a uh, Series S and X game, um, and this is a arcade automobile game. I wouldn't call it a racing game exactly, but it is kind of designated as a racing game on Xbox. But it's not exactly. Um, basically, in this particular game, you're going to be running around painting the floor, or the ground, I should say, in these different neighborhoods that are kind of in 3D. And the goal is, is to get as much of the area painted as possible. Um, it's virtually impossible to get 100% on any of the maps, but it's very doable to get the percentages necessary in order to get three stars on every level. Um, and that's basically your goal. And as you do that, you're going to unlock... Uh, new cars and new uh power-ups and paint jobs and all sorts of other things that are going to help you uh, get through each of the challenges as you progress through the game the challenges do get quite a bit harder um there's a lot of cops and stuff that you have to avoid that can damage you that and if you take damage and you can you know, automatically lose a map when you do that uh, there's also different types of vehicles in the game that you can run across come across that can help you and so you're going to want to utilize those to your advantage. Um, you just have to be really careful around those those vehicles. And then basically you just have to try to keep ranking up and upgrading your cars and getting better cars so that you can you know beat the levels that you've not gotten three stars on before with those better cars. And as you, like I said, as you progress through the game, it gets tougher and tougher. Um, it's a very simple game. You can also play co-op in the game. Um, and it's an interesting game, but it's also pretty simple, and you've probably seen games kind of like this before. Not exactly with the cars being the ones painting and stuff, but it, I've seen games like this in a lot of places. Uh, so there's nothing here you haven't seen before. Um, overall, the game itself is pretty easy to pick up and play. It's fairly short, and getting all the upgrades and things is not going to take you a ton of time, uh, even if you want to go through all the levels. As for the achievements in the game, uh, they also come pretty quickly. It takes about two hours to complete the com full completion in this. Uh, unfortunately, it just leaves a lot to be desired in having a difference from map to map because all the maps are basically these little neighborhood slash town areas and they don't really change all that much from map to map. And they could have really upgraded the types of different uh, the different types of like stuff that you're going to deal with as well as power-ups and things of that nature i mean there, there's a little bit of change but there's just not enough to make it seem all that different from map to map so um like i said achievement's going to take you two hours so if you want to get it for that reason if this game is anything over i don't know 7.99 then you probably want to wait to get it on sale and if it's under 5.99 that's probably good for achievements uh so that's pretty much all i have to say about this one definitely not something that i would recommend normally but uh it's a simple achievement game so if you're looking for that then there you go uh if you haven't like comment and subscribe feel free to do so and thanks have a nice day guys